Hey, how's it going everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update as we take a look at Saturday morning's clash between Navy and Central Florida. Note this game kicks off at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Pacific on Saturday morning. I think it's a tough spot for Central Florida. We're going to talk about that in just a second. First, a quick note, uh, we do have six plays to go in College of Pro Football Saturday and Sunday, led by my next seven-star main event in college football, nine and three with top plays in college football this season. And in fact, going back to late last bowl season, and my college football plays all ratings 32 and 17 65% against the spread got a couple more NFL games to go on Sunday led by a six star play cashed another six star last week with the Pittsburgh Steelers so we're going to look to rack it up and do it again with an underdog on Sunday's card again six plays in all Saturday and Sunday and I will have more free plays on Saturday afternoon or evening for Sunday's NFL card but you can check out all the videos with college football that I've done uh, for this weekend already uh, six pack with Tony George in which we talked about three college football games and another one that I uh, cut yesterday for this weekend's UCLA USC clash so you can check all that out and I wanted to also mention that if you're watching this on Friday uh, top play on Friday for me is a five star in college basketball uh, we're 2-0 and with my high-end college basketball plays this season and we won by 41 with Iowa last Friday we won by 31 a couple of nights ago with Tennessee also come off a winner last night with the Creighton Blue Jays they've been good to us a couple of times already this season. I've got what I think is going to be another blowout on Friday night's college basketball card. It's a five-star high-end play. You can check it out as we look to go to 3-0 and on the season. Let's get to the free play. Navy and Central Florida. Boy, this UCF team, look at the teams they played the last four weeks, and it's been one intense and very meaningful battle uh, after another over the last four games when you're checking out who they played so far. Last four weeks, they played East Carolina. Uh, they played Cincinnati. They played Memphis. They played Tulane. It's not been easy. A couple of those games coming on the road. And so now they got to return home after a big win last week and take on this Navy team, which is always tough to get ready for. One thing about Navy, if you look at not just total rushing yards per game, but look at when they do it. They're one of the top 20 teams in college football at gaining uh, needed yardage in key moments. For instance, and I've talked about this on radio shows, a five-yard gain on third and 15 doesn't mean nearly as much as a five-yard gain on third and three. That's what Navy specializes in this season. They've been really good at it. I know the record's only three and seven. I think they hang this big double-digit number here against UCF. So, going to recommend a play on Navy to kick things off on Saturday morning. And again, don't forget to check out my plays all weekend long. Daily sports, college and pro football, and oh, by the way, World Cup starts on Sunday, and I'll be involved throughout the World Cup uh, tournament, so you can check out my plays. 12-3 and three soccer run as we head into World Cup 2022. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer. Let's put them in the wind column, everybody.